what time do you need to leave by? Uh, honestly, as much as you need. I set aside this time just to be with you. So as much time as you need, uh, I'm here for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so I am actually the manager for LNI. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're a nuclear company. And we have um, a value of being um, economically friendly. We're, we're government funded. Mm -hmm. And we, we're kind of reaching out to, to local transportation systems. Um, mm -hmm. We, Because we are, I guess, economically friendly, we don't want our employees to have to use their cars every single day. Right. Um, just because of the values of our company. And so we're looking for options in the community to, to fulfill that request yeah I guess what would you what would you say your your value is for that the economy for uh, the environment and stuff like where would you say your rating of, <laughs> of environment friendliness is okay well great yeah. <laughs> well, um, we do have uh, uh, certain models of our vehicles yeah. that we do provide that that you can rent from us that are economically friendly but we have ones that get better gas mileage, which means less gas being used, which means less fossil fuels being used. So overall, we do have some models that you can rent from us that are more environmentally friendly. And, and as well, uh, if you don't mind me asking, for, for you, the, the type of employees that are going to be transported, um, what kind of employees are there? Are they going to be like kind of the um, you know, really low-level grounds workers? Will they be the scientists? What, what kind of people uh, will we be transporting? Um, really good question, actually. So yeah. a lot of our employees, uh, so we have 2,000 employees uh, okay. spread between three locations. Um, um, and many of them live close to our, our power plant itself. Mm -hmm. um, so 1,000 of them would need transportation. Um, kind of between, we're looking for five buses, but between those, we're looking to seat a couple hundred people. Okay. Um, and so I guess, as you mentioned, I would actually be one of those people riding on the bus. Oh, well, great. <laughs> I, I, I think if, if you're going to lead the people, you need to be part of them, right? Absolutely. Um, and so uh, that, would be, that would be what we'd be looking for is, is those people who would be uh, working either on the ground in the power plant or who'd be with an administration, um, those kinds of people. Great. Using the bus systems. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I think I'd like to bring to your attention, I think you've, you've, taught to, uh, you've thought about it as well, mm -hmm. um, and that is just to tell you um, some more in-depth from my side about um, kind of the model that I think would best meet your needs. Uh, we have a model which we call the Deluxe, and uh, it, it comes with it that um, there are some great um, things that, that come uh, in, uh, within the bus that I think would be great for your employees that are coming. Um, you being among them, being a, a high-level employee, one that a one that deals with sales, yes. and as well with other people that are coming in. Um, with, with our deluxe model, it's, you could say, the supreme amount of luxury for, for your employee. It could bring um, a lot of happiness for, for those who you're trying to, uh, to offer this to. Um, because, uh, because of that, it comes with reclining seats that can lean all the way back, almost as if you're sleeping. Yeah. Um, it offers, we offer Wi-Fi, USB plugs in the walls for anybody who would like um, to charge their phone while they're on their way to work if they didn't get a chance to charge it. Um, there's also a, you could call it a conference mode where you can <coughs> twist the chairs in. And also it comes with a mini fridge in there that you can choose to stock it with whatever you'd like. Um, if you could like to have snacks or drinks or stuff for your employees so they yeah. can be a little bit happier as well. Um, and also it can meet any government regulations that you have. Um, so this kind of bus would be something that, that we could, um, that, that I think would offer the greatest value for, for your people that you're looking for. Perfect. I think something I, I really appreciate what you said is, is the ability to, to be comfortable mm -hmm. and to have value. Um, and be, I, I consider that within the employees who would be traveling large distances. I'd definitely be looking at the deluxe option. Okay. Um, what other options for those who are closer to um, the power plant? What other buses or options do you have within your company? All right, well, what we have for other options is that if there is somebody who, um, you know, for a longer journey, they'll probably, w you want somebody to rest and relax, and that's yeah. why we need it to recline so much, but, uh, but you still want, um, uh, from what I'm understanding, you're saying you kind of want a bus that still has that kind of great comfort and value, but not as premium, mm -hmm. if I understand correctly. Um, okay. Well, the next model down is the Plus. Um, that one, it will also have the extra seat room, uh, it still has onboard Wi-Fi and plugs, yes, uh, but what it doesn't have is it doesn't have the conference feature and it doesn't have the mini fridge. Um, so it, for a shorter bus ride, it's just a more wider, luxurious seat that, the, that they'll be able to have. 
So I think that would be better for your for your shorter amount of travel. I thought you were gonna say shorter employees. That's shorter right. employees. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I think those two. So um, so what do you feel about about these two buses? Do you think those would satisfy your needs? I think uh, where where I value most is is the needs of my employees. I yeah, mean, of course. They have a long day. Um, I guess we'd be traveling about six o'clock every morning, mm -hmm. and I. I guess my, my greatest concern, and something I'd actually um, have your, your own input and thoughts on as well, is um, the reliability of your bus services. Mm -hmm. I know that having a bus around 5 o'clock in order for them to be there for 6 um, is, is a great need. Mm -hmm. um, and so we value being punctual. Yes. Um, and I guess on your end of things, um, with your employees and your buses, um, how, how reliable or how sustainable are the services you offer? Do you sometimes run later what is the the degree of error within your transportation yeah of course well we of course hold our hold our bus drivers to a very high standard yeah. and of, um, through beyond their training and licensing uh, we do um, definitely have a sense of punctuality that we that we'd like them to uphold mm -hmm. um, but due to that that's of course on our end the way the way that we see them and we value them but we want to make sure that you as well um, see that same kind of value which is why we have, through our buses, sort of a late policy, yeah. you could say. One thing that we can offer to you is that if you choose to go um, ahead and use our bus services, that any time that a bus arrives late or, or is not um, to your specific desire, uh, that day of rental will offer for free. Um, so something to you that, to offer some sort of comfort to know that we value punctuality is that we will double down on that um, on that uh, claim that yeah. if we ever are even just a minute late um, to arriving to pick up your people that we will offer that that one specific bus that will be free for that day. I appreciate that. I, yeah, I love how you're, you're straight to the minute. I, was, I, I think there's value in in a person's word and in mm -hmm. the punctuality. As as within our company, we have we have strict enforcement on people being punctual. And so, I mean, if that's coming out of their check, um, it's difficult because there's something they can't control, right? It's the transportation yeah. services. Yeah, of course. Um, and I think, I think like you, you value the the one minute rule. Yes. Um, that's <laughs> that's very extreme, and I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I, well, I usually give about like five <laughs> minutes of a, of a buffer for for my employees. Okay. And so I really love the deal um, that you said and, and the prices mentioned here. Um, so the late policy was something I was I was very concerned about. So you covered that well, Sam. Excellent, great. Appreciate well, it. I'm very glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so are these are would these shuttle routes be exclusively for our own uh, for our own businesses, or would this be following a different bus route and we just join your buses, or would these just be for, for L and I nuclear services? Our five. These um, these five buses that we have will be um, dedicated to your services. Um, so things such as the mini fridge that you stock, mm -hmm. um, none of it will be given to other people. Um, these five rentals that you have will have a daily dedication to your company. Mm -hmm. um, so they will be as if, it's as if you're leasing it to buy it for yourself, but we're offering it as a service with the driver to your company. So it's not gonna be like a public bus and we aren't gonna rent them out to other people. These are dedicated to you. Perfect. I think with the with the dedication, I my concern would be um, the safety, and I guess it's your concern as well, the, mm -hmm. the safety of my employees. Yeah. And, uh, I guess the sustainability of our environment. Yes. Um, and so, uh, how often do you uh, kind of how often do you service your your machinery, and um, I guess how how often do you get them certified? Is it something you do every like two years? Do you're uh, training your drivers? Is mm -hmm. that annually, or is it just like their local license or? Uh, the the drivers themselves they would have a local license, mm -hmm. but when it comes to our um, maintenance and things like that, we do have somebody who works here at the headquarters of Perfect. Eastern Idaho Shuffle yeah. um, Shuttle Shuffle. and <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> but they um, so we have a, a mechanic here, cool. and he does daily inspections for brakes, oil, um, things of that nature. And and our employee here, he's the one who does the the main inspection. So. Um, if it doesn't meet our standard, we wouldn't project that onto you. So we have someone here trained, our guy who, who is um, taking care of all the mechanics, mm -hmm. and then someone, um, and then our drivers are certified, and then they uh, certified through the state, and then they are the ones who are trained to operate the vehicles. Perfect. 
and also insured. I know that'd be important as well. Appreciate that. Fully insured. <laughs> yeah. So uh, because our, our standard is pretty high, if they don't meet our standard, what are you willing to offer as compensation? Okay. Um, what to you would mean um, not meeting your standard? What wouldn't meet your standard? Um, I think because of the environment we're in, I think uh, if an employee, of one of your employees is, is disrespectful or if is uh, verbally harming or I guess being aggressive in any way, um, what is the, the penalty towards that or um, how would you take those, those cautions? Okay. Well, we, we, don't, um, we really don't look lightly at any kind of misconduct. Mm -hmm. And what I can do is I can give you um, my own personal contact information as well, yeah. as, our, um, as, well as our HR department yeah. um, head. And any type of misconduct that does happen um, that is reported, we, we very promptly will, um, will report that and we will personally talk to that driver as well. So here's my personal contact information. Oh, I appreciate so, that. So there you go. Put it in the pocket. Um, so if there's any sort of misconduct as well, we do have uh, penalties for our drivers yeah. uh, through our HR department and someone through me um, as I offer the sale to you. So if that does happen, I, I'm in immediate contact that you can contact and we can deal with the driver on our own side, but it shouldn't be something that you have to worry about. Perfect. I guess uh, with with me and the other executives uh, being the appropriateness of, of transportation. Um, I guess we would also love to, to implement a, kind of a, a policy or mm -hmm. I guess um, a penalty is the word you use yeah. that's important. I guess within, within that year period, um, as we go year to year, um, I think it would be appropriate to, I guess, and agree, what would you think is an, uh, an appropriate amount of times or an appropriate penalty if there are difficulties, would it be if there's three times a year, if there's five times a year, um, we find somebody else, or obviously you want to engage in a relationship long term. Yeah. Um, but how can we come to an agreement on on the penalty for your services? Okay. Um, I think as uh, similar to the late policy, yeah. that um, if you do feel in any way that we're not meeting the standard, um, that our contract doesn't have to be permanent. That okay. what we can do is a yearly reevaluation. Yeah. Um, that that during the year we can we can meet again or anybody from your company or if you want to meet with my mechanic or wherever you'd like to meet to um, or any time that you'd like we can do a reevaluation to see how you are perceiving what we're doing and if you think that it's appropriate and if you think um, we're offering the service you'd like so that we have a contract but you're not set in stone to that contract that you there is some flexibility. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so I guess the three locations um, which we'd be looking at transporting, transporting from uh, would be Pocatello, the local Rexburg area, mm -hmm. and Idaho Falls. Oh, they had low battery, oh, no, so low that's battery. why I'm checking. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then Idaho okay. Falls, still going, we're good. There you go. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, we would love, actually, for those longer travels, like from Pocatello or Idaho Falls, we'd love to, to get deluxe buses for Great. those local Great. ones. Great. Um, and we'd also be looking to get, um, just because they're the good portion of our workers from Rexburg, we'd, we'd love to do three of the plus ones. Okay. Um, so we do Great. three plus buses and two of the deluxe. Um, and I think the, the value that you bring with, with doing a yearly, um, a yearly reevaluation um, brings strength to our relationship and mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't want to, to violate that in any way. Um, and so because there would be a yearly evaluation, I'd feel comfortable um, investing in a longer period of time. Okay. Um, and so my, I guess, if things are going well, I mean, we feel comfortable uh, to sign an agreement on, on eight years, mm -hmm. um, depending on the, the price in which we can understand for these, for these buses. All right. Great. Well, I think um, eight years would be great. Mm -hmm. um, but would you be willing, um, one thing I would really be willing to do, because I know these are the, you want two deluxe and, and three plus. Yeah. What I can do, um, once again, during the reevaluation, it's not set in stone, but yeah. the initial contract that we'll sign, um, so you won't have to you know, sign it again in eight years if you're satisfied yep. with it, um, I'd be willing uh, if we could bump it up to a 12-year contract, and because you're willing to put it up just four more years with that contract, just willing to put a couple more years down, it's more, more of your investment of time, yeah. um, I'd be willing to give you a slight discount. If you if you're willing to do that, does that sound some, like something you'd be interested in? Yeah, I'd feel comfortable doing that. Great, yeah. absolutely. So what we can offer now is it's uh, thirty six hundred per day for the deluxe, which you're doing two deluxes, and you have 
3,200 uh, per day for the three pluses. Yep. Um, so I think I could knock <coughs> off per day. Let me take one second. If I took off per bus and made it so they were 3,168, so $32 off a bus, which would save you around, let's see. I'd have to do all the math on yours. So. Right. <laughs> I'd have to do it on mine anyway. Yeah. So that would save you. Around a little over $100 a day. So it'd save you around $100 a day um, for, um, for each bus. So if you tie in for just a couple more years, once again, with still the reevaluation for a 12 year contract, <coughs> we could make it so you're saving about $100 a day. $100 a day on per bus, so that would be 35 for the deluxe and 31 for the pluses. It'd be $100 overall. So okay. the, the cost of the two deluxes and the three pluses, $100 off of that. Okay, I feel um, just because of the, the length of our agreement, um, mm -hmm. I'd love to do a more than $100 off. Okay. Um, would you consider um, because of the length of our deal and the relationship we want to build over 12 years, mm -hmm. would we be able to do um, a, would we be able to do 10% on each of the buses, which would bring um, the plus bus, uh, actually for the plus bus, I, I would love to consider if we could go to the, around the 3000 mark if we want. Okay. Uh, and then for the deluxe, um, if we could do 10% on that one, bring it to about 32 Okay, um, I might be able to do um, 3,000 on, on each plus, maybe a little bit more. Um, what I can do with the plus is how about I put it to around $3,008, which is a little bit more, so that's about, so that's about 6% off. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like I'm eating the tax. So I, okay. I can make it about there for each of your pluses. <coughs> and then for the deluxes, 3,200 is, um, a little bit lower than I'm allowed to do. Oh, the fan sign. <laughs> yeah, it's a, oh no. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit lower than I'm allowed to do. Um, so could we call it even and say 6% off of the deluxes as well? Because that would be 3,384. So I could take kind of eat the tax for both of them. The 3,384? Yeah. Uh, okay. Times two and then 3,008. So it times that by three, two as well. Oh, crap. I'm not used to your sense. Oh, OK. <laughs> it's just a calculator. So it would be 9,024, yeah. and then the other one was? It would be 3,008. So that was three. for those three. So that's 9,024. Great. And then plus, it was 3,384. Three, um, three so kind of 3,384. Uh, OK, let's just pull that one, cancel this. Uh, Three three eight four times uh -huh. two, times two and then plus, plus nine thousand twenty four. So that would be your daily price. That'd be the daily price. Yeah, um, and that's something that I feel very comfortable with. And uh, okay. I guess the the skeleton of our agreement is is that yearly evaluation um, mm -hmm. and the benefits also of uh, the late policy. I really appreciate that that time mm -hmm. commitment, and um, I think if. If there's a period of time where your employees for a certain amount of time um, have not been late, both of us could find some way to reward them. Absolutely. <laughs> I think we should. And upon yeah. our re re evaluation, <laughs> we can we could go over that. Yeah, I guess that would be, that'd be greatly appreciated. OK. So right now, you're going to have two deluxe buses at 3,384 a day. Yeah. And then our um, three plus buses for $3,008 per day. And this is with an agreement of a one-year evaluation, a um, late policy uh, yeah. enforced, uh, enforced by me, and then a 12-year contract overall. Perfect. All right, so if that seems fair to you, if I get so you to we'll sign right there. that as well, so a total of 15000 and $729 with the comfort of contract and policies. Mm -hmm. 
Burns. Mm -hmm. I'm the manager of Aaron Hill, or Hell and I. It's important to know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know my own company? Perfect. And All right, Canada excellent. Pizza and also Mad Dog Live Below Me. Absolutely. Um, and if I could get a copy of that just to take to, to my CEO as well, that'd be perfect. Cool. I'll go give this to my secretary. She'll make you oh. a, uh, a copy of that. Uh, perfect. So. Perfect. <laughs> yes, very nice meeting with you today. Oh, perfect. Well, of course. Well, if you need anything, let me know. Awesome. Do you want to do strengths and weaknesses on video or after? It's 20 minutes long. <laughs> I oh, yeah, I think after. <laughs>